Good morning, agents, and welcome to another daily episode of Target Loot today for September 11th, the series that shows you the Target Loot map, farming tips and tricks, and much more. I'm Agent Shadow, and if you enjoy my content, please consider smashing the subscribe and like buttons below, and check the video description for all named gear and weapons spreadsheets. Also, check the pinned comment section below for the Discord link to my Discord channel and how to join the Shadow Crew clan on PC, Xbox, and PS4. But before we get started, I did want to apologize for the past few days of no uploads. I live in California and these rolling blackouts have been pretty serious, but everything seems to be fine for now, so it's back on schedule. Alright, let's get started with the Dark Zones first and the highlights from the Dark Zone vendors, then DC, then New York last. Alright guys, well in DZ West, we got the Death Grips that roll with armor, armor on kill, and repair skills. Then in DZ South, we got the Zero F's chess piece with Perfectly Unbreakable that rolls with armor, armor regen, and skill haste. And then in DZ East, we got the Night Watcher Mask. Alright, so in DZ West for Target Elude, it's just gear system mods, so I do not recommend farming here today. And then DZ South, you got Backpack, so it is a chance to get the Gift Backpack, but I usually recommend firing Providence Defense for the Gift Backpack. That's where, in my experience, I've always gotten it. And then, of course, you can get the Matador Backpack, the Devil's Do with Perfect Clutch, and really, that's about it for the Backpacks in the Dark Zone. And then LMGs and DZ East, so you can of course get the Bullet King and Pestilence. The Pestilence used to be a Dark Zone exclusive, so it drops really easily in the Dark Zone if you're looking for the Pestilence. And I have builds for those as well with the Pestilence, like two or three of them. It's an extremely good weapon, so I would definitely check that out if you don't have it yet or you just want a better roll and you want to get it pretty fast. And then of course you can get the named one, like the Black Friday, that's a DZ exclusive light machine gun. Or the good times with perfect fast hands, the new reliable, you got Carnage with I think perfect sadist, and there's several other ones too. So it's definitely worth checking out in DZ East today. Alright agents, so we got the highlights for the north side area of DC. We got MMRs at Camp White Oak, so the Mantis and the Nemesis are the exotics. The Nemesis, you have to do a quest line for it. If you've done it already, you can refarm for it. And then of course the Mantis you get from the Season 2 track reward, so if you've already gotten that, you can refarm it as well. Otherwise, I just recommend the top tier MMRs like the White Death or the Elk's Lomstick with Perfect Ranger. Those are definitely worth farming for, for sure. And Camp White Oak is a really big area mission where you can farm multiple bosses as well for some pretty good loot. We also got Gear System mods at Coney Island Ballpark. So if you need that 12% credit damage, 6% credit chance mod, 20% repair skills, whatever it is you're looking for, it's worth farming on Heroic for. That's where I seem to get the best drops for the gear system mods in my experience. And then chess pieces at the amusement park, you can go for the tardigrade armor chess piece. All right, and then of course we got gloves at Manning National Zoo. So that's an outcast, not a Black Tusk mission, but you can still get the BTSU gloves. Black Tusk just has a higher drop rate chance for the BTSU gloves. But anyway, I would definitely rec recommend farming today for the BTSU gloves or the contractor's gloves with that 8% damage to armor. It's not as mandatory as the damage to targets out of cover that you get from Fox's Square knee pads, but they're definitely worth farming for if you have an LMG build. Always put those on an LMG build, always. All right, agents, we're over here in the west side of DC. Let's do the highlights for this one. So we got knee pads at West End. You can get the Ninja Bike Messenger knee pads. It's 25% bonus armor for doing cover to cover and vaulting and it reloads your primary weapon that's equipped at the moment. You also can go for the Fox's Prayer knee pads with that 8% damage to targets out of cover, which like I said is extremely, extremely, extremely good for DPS builds. Any any damage you need to do because it's multiplicative, especially if you put damage to targets out of cover on any attribute on your weapon, that third attribute down if it's not an LMG. Always, always try to run damage to targets out of cover, that extra 10%. And then of course the Sawyer's knee pads which gives you all the way up to 30% weapon damage just for sitting still. But the second you start moving it starts stops or it starts dropping. And then Badger Tough at Federal Emergency Bunker. If you don't want to get the Zero F's chest piece at the Dark Zone vendor or you don't have enough DZ resources and you don't want to go in the DC to farm for them, you can of course farm over here in Federal Emergency Bunker. It doesn't take usually too long for a Zero F's chest piece to drop. It's got perfect unbreakable. I have a build for it I'll put in the top right card right now that shows ex how extremely good it really is. And then gloves again but at Bank HQ so forget farming at Manning National Zoo today. If you need the BTSU gloves definitely farm Bank HQ today. It's an evaded mission so it has a dry higher drop rate chance for those BTSU gloves. 
But of course the contractor's gloves, you can farm Petrov or gloves either way. I'd probably farm Petrov for those contractor's gloves and BTSU for the gloves. And remember, here's all the invaded missions for the week. We got Bank HQ, Camp White Oak, we got DCD Headquarters, and I believe the stronghold is Roosevelt Island. Of course, all culminating into Tidal Basin as the last stronghold after Roosevelt Island. All right, we also got Grupo Sombro at DCD Headquarters, so one piece for DPS builds for that 15% crit hit damage, and then two pieces for that explosive skill damage builds because it gives you 15% uh, explosive skill damage or explosives damage. And then Providence Defense at Constitutional Hall, you can get the Sacrifice of Perfect Glass Cannon. Or if you're just trying to get better rolls on your you know, three-piece DPS sets with those Providence Defense, it's definitely worth farming for. You got, what, three control points here and multiple activities always running. Walker Harrison Co. at Foggy Bottom, you can get the Perfect Headhunter ch uh, chess piece with Chain, it's called Chain Killer. It's definitely worth it. And if you guys want, comment in the comment section below if you want me to post my headshot build for sure because i have two of them and i would like to share it but i know that a lot of people have already uploaded them i really really like that build though and it's great in legendaries too so let me know if you want me to post that in the comment section below this week all right and then we got providence defense at roosevelt island so this will probably go on the thumbnail but basically if you run this on legendary you can get the highest rolls possible possible god rolls too from running legendary for this providence defense targeted loot mission for roosevelt island it's definitely worth farming for and if you need a sacrifice chess piece if you get one dropped from legendary chances are it's going to be near max rolled usually all right guys we also got masks at lincoln memorial lincoln memorial so you can farm for the coyotes mask the vile mask and the punch drunk mask with 20 percent headshot damage baked into it that goes really well paired with the headhunter chess piece and also the Dodge City holster. And then Assault Rifles at Tidal Basin. You can go ahead and try to farm for the Chameleon Exotic, which is really good. And I have a build for that I'll put in the top right card as well. You can also farm for the Mechanical Animal with Future Perfection, the Burnout named Famas, the Maniac named Military AKM, and then all the top tier Assault Rifles like the Military AKM, which is my favorite, and also the Famas, Police M4, Carbine 7, G36s, and the P416 variants for sure. We also got China Light at DARPA, so if you want to run that for any explosives damage build, you could pair that usually with the Demolition Spec and the two-piece Grupo Sombro. So these are really good, really, really good spots to farm for today in DC. All right, let's go check out the east side. All right, agents, well, we're over here on the east side highlights. So real quick, I do notice a few things for the XP farm videos I got out, No Hope Hotel and Demolition Site XP farms. If you're looking for the force multiplier backpack with perfect combined arms you can definitely run this demolition site xp farm today or if you're looking for the lady death or refarming the chatterbox or need a top tier smg like the vector variants mpx's or if you're just looking for like the perfect outsider or the swap chain or any of those smgs definitely definitely check out my videos for no hope hotel and demolition site xp farms those are great great fast five six minute runs you get tons of experience you earn a watch level each time and the loot just drops everywhere it's it's a lot of loot because it's open world four directives on heroic and if you need anyone to help you out join my discord the link is in the pinned comment section below all right we also got shotguns at jefferson trade center so you always have a chance to get the coyotes mask to drop from coyote at the end um, at jefferson trade center you can also farm this for the sweet dreams exotic shotgun or the top tier shotguns like the Marine Super 90 and the Custom Inmate 70. Araldo Holdings at District Union and Mass over here at Capitol Building as the legendary missions for targeted loot. Araldo Holdings goes great, two pieces with your perfect headhunter headshot damage build. And then Mass at Capitol Building if you just need a good mask or any of those exotic ones. You could farm legendary, but if you're looking for exotics, always run them on challenging or heroic. Then we got gear sets at Jefferson Plaza. If you need anything but system corruption, which is DZ exclusive or the Foundry Bulwark or Future Initiative chest and backpack pieces, those are also raid exclusives. So you cannot get them outside of the Iron Horse raid. All right, and then we also got Golong Gear at Judiciary Square. If you want to pair one piece of that with the four piece Eclipse Protocol and then Imperial Dynasty or Vile Mass, definitely, definitely worth farming for. You got two control points here to go for. All right, agents, well, let's go check out what we got in New York City, and then I'll let you guys go. And then, of course, real quick, you can get the tardigrade armor chest, exotic chest piece over here at West Potomac Park today, too. 
There's uh, three control points you can farm here as well. But yeah, let's go check out what we got in New York City real quick. All right, agents. So we got Sokolov Concern at the tomb. So remember, any Rikers mission like Wall Street or the tombs has a chance to drop the, uh, the Bullet King LMG exotic. So Sokolov Concern is great if you're running an SMG build because and you replace that with three-piece Providence. Sokolov Concern comes with SMG damage, then 15% credit damage, then 10% credit chance. So Sokolov Concern is actually really worth it, especially if you can get a chest or backpack piece that's all red, weapon damage, crit hit chance, and crit hit damage, and has something like Vigilance on it or Obliterate, which is getting buffed from 15 to 25 stacks as well. And then of course, we got Petrov at Stranded Tanker. You can farm for the Contractor's Gloves, and Vivian Connolly has a chance to drop the Imperial Dynasty Holster as well. Or you can just farm Financial District for the Imperial Dynasty Holster or the, holster or the Forge Holster, which gives you 50% extra shield health. That's just like adding another skill tier to your shield. You could farm shotguns at Wall Street and also get a chance to get the Bullet King to drop. And then Murakami is great for that extra 10% skill duration and Alp Summit. You could farm for a percussive maintenance backpack with perfect tech support on it. Or you could just farm for like a good chess piece with like Empathetic Resolve for a good healer build. Alright agents, well that was the target of loot today for September 11th. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe and like if you enjoy my content. You can also click the join button below to further support my dream of being a full-time content creator and check out the Discord and clan in the pinned comment section below for the links. Take care agents and be sure to stay tuned for more daily videos and much more, especially on the PTS. I'm actually thinking of live streaming right after this video drops. This is Agent Shadow signing off. I will see you in the next video.